Hello. In this module, we'll look at technology entrepreneurship. Adapting the definition we've become used to, we can simply define opportunity as opportunity created or enabled by technology. And in its simplest form, that's what technology entrepreneurship is. Here's another definition, which is longer and a bit more complicated, but is basically saying the same thing. If you're not familiar with the word heterogeneous, as in heterogeneous assets, it simply means diverse. It means that you have to have a range of people and um, resources in order to make it work. There are two main styles of technology entrepreneurship. First of all, there are technology developers, and this is what we often think of as technology entrepreneurship engineers or IT experts or scientists who actually create the technology that enables a new business opportunity. But there are also technology commercialisers who don't actually develop the technology themselves, but they are able to recognise how that technology can be used to meet a market need. And it's rare for one person to be able to do both. So technology ventures do tend to be started by teams rather than individual entrepreneurs. There's a lot of hype about technology startups and the stereotypical story goes something like this. It happens in Silicon Valley. There's a couple of young guys who are IT geeks or scientists or something like that. They have a great idea and they work on it in their garage and then they get venture capital and they make a lot of money. There's a few problems with this stereotype. First of all, venture capital isn't that easy to get and the vast majority of, of businesses, including even technology startups, do not use venture capital. Secondly, where are the women? Now, it is true that there are fewer women in technology entrepreneurship than men, but there are quite a few of them around. Finally, it's very first world. Does technology entrepreneurship not occur in developing countries? Not at all. Developing countries still use technology and they may use the same technology that we do, but they may also be much smarter at using simple technology in creative ways. And then because there's a lot of hype about it, it attracts people who think that it will be exciting and it will all be fun, uh, rather than people who are prepared to put in the hard work and persistence and come back from the setbacks that an entrepreneur is to be. And somebody, I can't tell you who the source is, has come up with the term entrepreneur for people who like the fun part of entrepreneurship but aren't prepared to do the hard work. Examples of technology entrepreneurship these are some obvious ones, Google, Apple, Facebook, all reliant on technology. You'll notice in the case of Google and Facebook, it's, it's software, it's web-based, whereas Apple actually has hardware as well as some pretty fancy software. Then there's more tangible products like Dyson um, has really revolutionized some simple um, products, some everyday products such as vacuum cleaners, and uh, hand dryers and heaters. If you look in the entrepreneurship textbook there is a case study, case study on Big Belly Solar. Now that is a solar powered trash compactor which means that when you put rubbish in it using the solar power that it generates it um, crushes that rubbish so it can hold more and doesn't have to be emptied so often. And that's actually a big saving for the um, councils who come and collect the rubbish. Um, a business that was started up by a couple of um, graduates from Swinburne's Master of Entrepreneurship and Innovation program is Relive It, which actually recycles disposable nappies. Now, there's technology involved in that, and in fact, mostly they purchased the technology, which cost a bit of money, but you have to build a factory as well. So, that is a really major startup. And then you've got businesses that 
are actually dealing with well understood markets but they deal with them in a different way which is enabled by technology and in all these examples here that enabling technology is of course the internet. Without it Amazon, Airbnb, Uber, eBay, none of those businesses could have existed. Next we will look at some specific challenges of technology entrepreneurship. But for now have a look at businesses that you read about, that you deal with, and identify some that you would classify as technology enterprises.